Good Thursday morning, boys and girls. I'm happy to see you. Can we fold our hands for prayer? In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commits me here, ever this day be at my side, to light and guard, to rule and guide, amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Boys and girls, today I've sent home some really interesting things for you guys to do. So, firstly, don't forget, music video with Mrs. Cross. Make sure you practice your songs, okay? We've got to start to get ready for that Christmas concert that we want to videotape for the moms and dads. I have a challenge for you guys today. I want you to find a really pretty piece of paper. Maybe it's a piece of wrapping paper, or maybe it's a piece of colored paper or construction paper. And I want you to take your safety scissors and I want you to cut. I want you to cut the page into lots of pretty shapes of different sizes. And then I want you to take a plain piece of paper or maybe even a paper plate and glue those pieces on to that other piece of paper or paper plate and make a beautiful creation. And I promise if you bring those to me on Monday, I will display them in the hallway outside of room 106. Thumbs up? Awesome. There's a worksheet coming your way. Boys and girls, it has apples on it. Boys and girls, this is a counting worksheet. You are going to learn how to add. So you have to look at the number of apples and then write how many there are all together. Okay, so here's one and two apples plus one more apple. So how many apples do we have all together? One, two, three. So boys and girls, I'd like you to do this. When you get all done writing these three numbers down, I want you to color your apples. And remember, apples don't have to just be red. We learned back in September, apples can be red, green, or yellow. So make this really beautiful. I can't wait to see how they turn out. Boys and girls, I want you to spend some time today and sing the A is for Apple song. That's included in your daily email as well. Hey, you know, I bet your moms and dads and your family members don't know that one. It might be fun for you to show it to them and sing with them and teach them how to do it. I think they'll enjoy it. And it gives them a really good feel for how we're going to be learning how to read this year. So, boys and girls, there is also another kindness challenge today. Thanksgiving was a little different. It was a little different for my family and I'm sure it was a little different for yours. I didn't get to see the same people that I would have liked to have seen on Thanksgiving. And I've been thinking about them a lot this week. So what I'd like you to do is think about one or maybe even two people that you didn't have a chance to see on Thanksgiving. And your kindness challenge is to call them up and let them know that you miss them, that you love them, and that you're thinking about them, and that you can't wait to be together again soon. So I know who I'm gonna call. I hope you guys know who you are gonna call. And with that in mind, I think it's kind of fun that we talk a little bit about some of our favorite people. And I don't know about you, but boy, when I was a little girl, some of my favorite people were my grandma and grandpa. I just loved spending time with them. I was just telling one of you friends the other day, my grandpa sometimes would pick me up at school and there was a huge parking lot in between where he could park his car and where the door to my school building was. And when I saw his silver car pull up in front of the school from my classroom window, I couldn't wait to get out at three o'clock and I would run as fast as I could all the way across that parking lot to go see him. And he would lift me up in the air and put me on his shoulders and walk me back to the car. And I remember those days, they were so much fun. So today I wanna to read a book by the name of Llama Llama, Graham and Grandpa. It's another name for the name of a book, boys and girls. That's right, 
the title. This book was written by Anna Dudney. What's the person who writes the words of a book? What's their job called? That's right, the author. Well, she also drew all these pictures. And what do we call the person who draws the pictures for a book? Good, the illustrator. Remember, boys and girls, what's this? Front cover. Making this the back cover. And don't forget the spine that holds it all together. Now, here's a grandma llama and a grandpa llama, and there's llama llama, the baby llama. Is this a true story or a make-believe story? Yeah, it's a make-believe story. And who remembers that word that tells us a book is a make-believe story? That's right, fiction. Kiss your brains, you're so smart. Llama Llama, Grandma, and Grandpa. Llama Llama, big, big day. It's a first, a special stay. Pack up clothes and PJs tight. Llama's going overnight. Who will take good care of Llama? Llama Llama's Grandma and Grandpa. Bag and fuzzy in the car. Buckle up, the drive seems far. Hugs and kisses, big hellos. Mama loves you, off she goes. Sometimes it's hard when our mommies leave us someplace, even if we like where we're going, right? But don't forget boys and girls, moms and dads always come back. A glass of milk, a yummy snack. Now it's time to go unpack. Mama's picture in a frame. So different, but also just the same. Take out socks and pants and book. Put the jammies on the hook. Feeling strange away from Mama. Oh no, where is Fuzzy Llama? Llama dear, are you okay? Llama doesn't want to say. Grandma says, let's go outside. Climb on up, pretend to ride. Tractors, gardens, grass to mow. Llama's having fun, but oh, Fuzzy is still left at home. Maybe Fuzzy feels alone. Grandpa's workshop, lots to do. Wood and hammers nails and glue. Llama makes a little chair. It's for Fuzzy. He's not there. Time for dinner. Help get ready. Carry dishes. Hold them steady. Grandma's house has different food. Something squishy. Something stewed. Llama tries it. Hey, it's good. Would you like more, dear? Llama would. Dinner's over, time for bed. Llama wants to wait instead. Grandpa says, let's see the stars. Nighttime shows us where they are. Take a bath, then comb and brush. Settle in for stories, hush. Finish books and get a kiss. Llama dear, now what is this? How does Llama feel, do you think? Yeah, I think he's sad. Llama's lips begin to quiver. Llama starts to shake and shiver. Llama needs his fuzzy near, but fuzzy Llama isn't here. Oh dear, Llama's so upset. Wait a minute, stay right here. Grandpa leaves, then reappears. When Grandpa was a little boy, he also had a special toy. Big or little, young or old, a llama needs someone to hold. Grandpa had his own little fuzzy llama. A grandma kiss, a grandpa hug, feeling cozy, feeling snug. 
Llama Llama's not alone. This is home, away from home. Boys and girls, getting to visit your grandmas and grandpas is a very, very special thing. And I hope you enjoy every minute when you get to do it. Boys and girls, that's a perfect example of when you should say thank you. Have you ever left a special lovey at home when you've gone away someplace? It can be very upsetting. I remember when my baby boy left his special boo-boo bear home and we went up north. Ooh, it was a long night. So boys and girls, it's okay to have that special lovey. But remember, they'll always be waiting for you when you get back home, even if you do forget them. Now, in the meantime, I want you to have a special, kind, and wonderful day. Enjoy this time, and I'll see you right back here tomorrow morning. And in the meantime, God bless you.